<laughs> Alright cuties, welcome back to finally another video. Oh, sorry about that. Today we're going to be trying out the new killer, the Skull Merchant, which I'm not too sure she's living up to her name if I'm quite honest. Nevertheless, as every new killer comes to the game, we also get three new teachables, which I... How many perks are there in this game now? Her three new teachables though consist of Thwack, Thwack, really Thwack, Leverage, and Game Afoot. Thwack will make it so whenever you break a breakable wall or pallet, every survivor in 32 meters range will scream and show their aura. Leverage will give you a token every time you hook a survivor, making it harder and harder for survivors to heal. And Game of Foot will make it so whenever you smack a survivor or the survivor that you've been chasing the longest in that trial, they'll become the obsession. And also, if you damage a generator or break a wall or a pallet, you'll get 5% haste for 10 seconds. The way sk this- the way scalp- this- <laughs> The way the skull merchant's power works is you don't want a survivor to chase you, Wait, what? You don't want to chase a survivor in a certain part of the map. You place a drone down, and as long as they're inside of it, they'll get exposed, meaning that they gotta leave that area. You also get a lot of aura reading abilities. I'm pretty sure if they stay in the drone long enough, they'll get this claw trap attached to them where they gotta take it off. But until they do, then you're able to see them anywhere on the map. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. A lot of, um, stuff that I'm gonna mess up on as I go into the game. <laughs> For the first game though, we're going to be running something that I'm a little more accustomed to, which is Save the Best for Last, Enduring, Agitation, and Scourge Hook Pain Resonant. We're going to be putting on the Aboni Mori, considering I didn't get a Macmillan or a Mother's Dwelling offering, which are two maps that have been reworked. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in game. Yes, the Red Forest, let's go! Didn't even need a map offering, boys. So for the Macmillan change, they actually only changed Shelter Woods. They actually finally added a main building. Usually, the killer shack was the only place that the basement could spawn, but they really upgraded the uh, looks of the mother's dwelling. Holy shit. Right off the bat, we got a big boy ace. So I did play one game before this, and I got absolutely obliterated and uh, don't want to talk about it. What? Oh my god. But for this game, I realized that if you say goodbye to your drone, you better give it a good old kiss, because you ain't getting it back until a survivor damages it or destroys it or... Does whatever the fuck they do to it. Ace, I swear to god, I'm taking that head on personally. Look at that, we got a score hook right here. Let's not get gen rushed. I guess we should probably just put a drone up right in the middle of this house. I'm probably gonna look like an idiot when I look back on this from a Donut! You're so stupid! Yeah, good enough. Not even on the gen. Oh, I feel amazing. Wait, is someone on that? I think they jumped down. Why hello, Leon. Mr. Leon trying to 360 me. Okay, what is this one doing? Oh, so it scans until it sees someone and then it creates the big ring. How am I losing him when I have him? <laughs> nice. She kind of sounds like a robot when she picks people up. Damn it. I need them to stay in it long enough, though. It doesn't even take too long, but then they'll get exposed. My face. Oh, let's go back over here. You butt dancer, you! Look at this man. He's getting his squats in while he's gaming. He just wants to run me to- Oh, oh. A very fantastic job, Dwight. Would you like to go on a hook? I think you would. Oh my god, there's already two gens left! I still have two drones. I don't know where to put them, though. I should probably- Yeah. I can't even place it. That's so awesome. Absolutely magnificent. Well... I am stuck. Okay, wow. Good ballot, Leon. We made that. Oh, he tried to dead hard. Wait, put him right in the middle. Probably gonna have last gen done because of this. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. I think that's different than when it came out on the PTV. What's up, boys? Oh, you're going on the hook too, big boy. I'm gonna mori all of you tonight. It's actually not bad. They actually incorporated the drone in the mori. I'm pretty sure when it- the killer first- Oh, hello? Why can I not place a drone down? Do I have to be farther away? What's the deal with this? Oh! Oh my gosh. So I take back what I said earlier about saying goodbye to your drone. The time has come. I know we do be doing a little cheeky tunnel, but I think he wants it. I think he's been asking for it. Oh. <laughs> do people still run dead or decisive? 
They do? Place another one here. Oh, wow. This is the killer shack? It's really cool how they're making every killer shack themed for this specific map. Ow. Okay, I do be wasting a lot of time on him, but... Uh-oh. Oh, well, you didn't have adrenaline. Oh, that hit? And we got Shelter Woods with no offering as well. Holy shit, that is some luck right there. After playing last game, actually finding out you can get your drone back after placing it, I think that changes it quite a lot. This actually doesn't look too bad. This is kind of sick. Oh my gosh, hello. Out of my way, son! You guys... Oh my, I didn't think she had any pants on for a second. What is that outfit? Why, hello there, Quentin. You done have been fucked up by your own teammate. I'm not even the killer of this game, apparently. Lee? What is happening? Already got four stacks on my save the best. Well, that's not even Quentin. That's Jonathan. That's how bad he looks. <laughs> okay, let's place a drone down. Actually use the power as intended. And they killed themselves. And that hit. What? God damn it, Jonathan. You got rid of my one score chuck. All right, so let's take this back and put it up here. I wonder if there's any range for depth. Nice. Oh, Nancy. Your boyfriend is dead, and you seem to give absolutely no fucks. Try me, bitch. Oh my god, you and your toxic infinite. How fucking dare you, ma'am? Why can I not place another drone down? Oh, is it because I'm too close? For how fucking useless they are, I wish that you could. Unless you could just put, like, three of them all together, and the next thing you know, everywhere is just exposed. She's gonna leave this area, because who the fuck wants to stay in a drone? Keep her in this. And she has left. Why does it do that? Why do I just go sideways? Wait, why? Why are you outlined like that? Maybe if I actually read the perk and did my homework. Oh my god, dead hard. Oh, I can make this. Oh! I can make this. Yeah! I can make this. <laughs> Hello, Nancy. Oh, okay. She has got the best running shoes on in existence. No, we're just gonna pick up and hope for the best. That was not the best. Oh my god! Wow, that escalated. Please don't have. Is it just me, or are they making characters' asses bigger and bigger every like season, season, chapter? Like, god damn! I'm gonna get demonetized for this. Oh my god, Nancy. You just have to be this toxic, don't you? Well, you know what? At least there's something to rely on when it comes to Shelter Woods, other than your five unsafe pallets. That's actually an infinite. Yay! What is that? Oh, wait, they're close? They're close? They're right here? Oh, would you look at that? Ain't shit, Back on the infinite! Oh, I love this infinite. This is making me giddy with a big-ass grin. God, do you keep running this? I'm just gonna, like, smile with so much joy. My face hurts how much I'm smiling right now. Actually, no, 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 don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh. <laughs> Got him. Do you ever just play killer and like completely outplay the survivor, but completely unintentionally? Same. All right, Nancy. We are going to be putting up a drone for you. And hopefully you stay inside of it long enough. All right, another drone here. Wait, what is on her? Nancy, I swear to God. And that's why you run enduring. <laughs> this is the longest game in my life. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> gosh, they are determined to run through me. Okay, it, well, here we go. <laughs> oh, double kill collateral Mori. Oh, nice. Beautiful angle. <laughs> oh, yes. The fucking infinite. It's a fucking magnet to this Nancy. Oh, my gosh. Just gave me a little kiss. Wait, no shot you guys got rid of my drone. I take offense to that. 
Oh wait, I probably shouldn't have hooked her in the basement, because when there's only two survivors, no one ever goes for the person in the basement. Yes! Well, your time is up, Nancy. You shall reunite with Jonathan very soon. That is actually brutal. Oh, I, I love these angles. Like, these angles couldn't possibly get any better. Either ways, I think that's going to do it for Thick Skull Merchant. Oh, sorry about that. It's kind of interesting to go around and place drones and get that aura reading and that awareness. But at the same time, playing from a survivor's perspective, I feel it's just not that enjoyable considering the second that a drone's placed, you're just going to have to run away regardless unless you want to be one shot. But from experience, with a lot of people complaining about killers the second they come out, new strats get put out there. People play the killer in different types of ways, so... I'm excited to see how the killer works out in the future. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good night, guys. Must have been to 11 when the world ended. At least it felt like it at the time. Teenage years make a heartbreak worse. Plus a lot was going on. Couldn't stop it at the time. Dad tried to flip the house. Funny that it all ended upside down. No for being optimistic. Started feeling different. Couldn't fix it. Started writing lyrics all because nobody tried to hear it.